Rise up and pray. I am your host, Miss Vicky. I want to certainly welcome you to the Midnight Warfare Line. I do believe that late in the midnight hour, God will certainly turn it around. If you are the host, press star now. Otherwise, please wait and you will be joined into the conference. The host has not arrived yet. Please wait. Please enter your PIN followed by the pound or hash. If you do not... Thank you. There are two participants in the conference. Hello, 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 hello. I am your host, Sister Vicky. Um, I would like to give all the new and existing callers as well as um, my YouTube listeners a very warm and embracing welcome. It is my custom to start the night off with the word of God. Um, I believe that the word will shield us and protect us in this sensitive hour. Um, Satan and his fallen angels won't stand a chance on the night. <laughs> we all know that the word is sharper than any two-edged sword. So please follow along with your Bibles while I read aloud the entire Psalms 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I would say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the followers' snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the pledge that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him. For he acknowledged my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Whew. Thank you, Lord God. Lord, that was it. People, if anybody just joined the line, um, we just got finished reading um, Psalms 91. Amen. We read. I read the entire Psalms ninety one. I read out the NIV version. Um, I I will advise each and every listener to please read Psalms ninety one on your devotional time with God. It will certainly minister to you. It will remind you that God is with you through all your troubles. That He will protect you, and just meditate on Psalms ninety one. Amen. Okay, we're gonna move this thing along. Okay. Um, once again, I want to thank each and every caller. I want to thank the new caller for calling tonight. Um, I want to thank every existing callers. Um, I know it took warfare just to pick up the phone and call the line on the night. And I'm sure that it would not go unnoticed with God because God see all and he knows all. Amen. And those that, you know, that, like I said, it just got online. We just, um, finished reading Psalms 91. But before we move into worship, um, I ask if you have any loud background noise, please mute your device 
um please don't holler over the phone lines um while talking to a third party however if you need to have a conversation with anyone that is not on this warfare line please 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 mute your device um because we want to eliminate all distractions um because we know that god is not with confusion amen so just let us all be good stewards on tonight while doing everything in decency and in order so we won't be a hindrance to anyone. Amen? Amen. 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 We're going to go ahead and um go into worship. But I want to say during worship, please get into a comfortable position and let the music minister to your spirit and um uh, because worship is between you and our father worship between you and god and um feel free to sing along and freely worship god um be free in the lord you know worship him in spirit and truth you know because worshiping is not forbidden on this line we're gonna worship god hey man we ain't raised up 12 o'clock midnight for nothing we're gonna worship our father in heaven amen um so we want to go ahead and start this worship off like i said you know you are free in the lord i don't want nobody to feel like they you know are bound or anything by a lot of rules and regulations you know i just want people to know that we have to do everything in dcc and in order we have to um do everything be mindful with what we do and what we say but I do advise each and every worshiper up here to worship God and worship him in the spirit realm as well. You know, not just in the natural, but in the spirit. All right. Because we want to know what the spirit is saying to the church. And worship is about communicating with God and about pouring out, you know, your issues with God and talking with him and having a relationship with him. Worship is adoring him, admiring him. So that's what we want to do um during this worship time. So please get into a comfortable position and um worship him at your church. Don't be afraid to worship him at your church cuz that's what I'm going to do right now. Praise God. Praise God. God. And this song that's going to be played tonight is a very anointed song. It ministered to my spirit all day long. Um, the name of the song is, um, let me get it together, y'all. Let me get it together. The name of this song here is um, All the Glory. It's by Steve Crown. And I'm pretty sure it's going to minister to your um spirit as well it's a very anointed song and i just for all my youtubers because you know it's going to be on youtube um i want to let everybody you know i want to put it out there that i own no rights to this song i'm not trying to benefit any profits or anything from this song i'm not trying to collect any funds it's only for to set the atmosphere for worship only amen so i want to make that clear amen amen, amen. You deserve all the glory, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yeah. 
Thank you, Lord God. We give him praise and we give him honor. We lift his name on high because we know there's nobody like Jesus. I don't know about y'all, but I searched all over and I couldn't find nobody like Jesus. I searched high and I searched low. Do you hear me? And I could not find nobody like the Lord. He is one of a kind. Hallelujah. There's nobody like him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do we got any new callers up here on tonight? If you do, you if we do, you can announce yourself because we definitely want to welcome you on tonight. Any new callers? Any new callers up here tonight? Amen. 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 But I thank God for all the existing callers. Amen. I thank you. I thank you for raising up, rising up, uh, twelve o'clock midnight to fellowship and to lift the name of the Lord up on high. Um, God honors that, you know. He honors it. He honors that because we are making a sacrifice. We are sacrificing our sleep, Amen. Because right now, you know, if we would have it our way, we'll be sleep right now in our bed. But we allow the God to have His way. So now we're up magnifying his name. We with other believers. We're going to touch and agree and believe God. Hallelujah. There's no better. See, see, in this day and time, so many people turn to drugs and alcohol and, and to, you know, different types of uh, um, negativity, it, it, different types of stuff that the devil, you know, present to them. But it's a you know, but it's it's a wonderful thing when you turn to God when you're going through stressful situation. You turn to God when things are not going, you know, is not going well in your life. You turn to God instead of turning to people, places, and things. And you know what? It's just a blessing to be able to lift the name of the Lord up. I don't I don't take this for granted. 
because I know people mm-hmm. that's have it that's not even alive today. You know, they might was with us last week, but they're not with mm-hmm. us this week. And I don't take life in general for granted because God said in his word, nobody's promised tomorrow. So why are you here on earth today? Mm-hmm. You just will worship God. You just will honor him because we have to realize this is not our final destination. There's our, our final destination is after this life. This is just a test hallelujah living Mm -hmm. on earth is a test but we have a permanent home and which home you want to go to that's going to be up to you to make that decision Mm -hmm. hallelujah but i don't know about you but i want to go be with my father (laughs) i want to go be with my lord and savior amen 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 well i want to go ahead and um go do the announcements real quick um um, I just want to let everybody know I always invited to join this warfare line every Friday night starting at 11:55. Um, I know um, on the prayer request line um, it says on the voicemail that the uh, I, which I need to um, make some adjustments with that voicemail, but it says that it started at 11:50, and I have been noticing that people have been calling 11:50. And I don't want to leave people up here for a long period of time. So um, just to make that clear, it's the the prayer request line. Op- not the prayer request line, I'm sorry. The warfare line, which is this line that you call tonight, opens up at 11.55 p.m. Eastern time, ending Saturday mid-morning. Amen. So you 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 uh, be able to join me on Friday and end, and we end the night on Saturday. Amen. Hallelujah. And reminder texts are sent out every Friday between 4 and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And um, uh, once you call the warfare line, your number will automatically be on the reminder list. So, however, if you no longer would like to receive reminder texts, just simply reply stop and you will be taken off of the list, okay? Hopefully ne- that won't happen, but you know if it if it occurs and you feel like okay that warfare line ain't for me, then you want to get taken off the list for um um the reminder list, which I send a text out every Friday. If you want to get taken off that list, just simply just text stop. Amen. Um, I would like all to know that this warfare line is linked to social media. Each call is recorded. Okay, I want to make that clear. Each call is recorded and is placed on YouTube for spiritual purposes only. Okay, so please subscribe to Watch Out Podcast so you won't miss any recent uploads. Um, and for all of your prayer requests, please email yes I am free twenty twenty at gmail dot com or you can text or leave a voicemail on one two five two three eight two five seven five one. Both lines of communications are checked twice weekly. And last but not least, our sister Lena has a very powerful ministry where she sends prophetic devotionals out on a weekly basis to mobile devices through text messages. Um, To be a part of this ministry, please text add me to 1-252-382-5751 so you can be blessed with some words of encouragement to help you throughout the week. Amen. Now that we're done, I'm done with the announcements. Is there anybody up here um, that got anything that's going on? That Because we want to know what the Lord is doing in this season so we can be a part of it. So if anybody got anything going on, please speak and let us know at this time. Amen. If not, all right, we're going to move this thing along, y'all. Amen. Um, we got a um, prayer uh, request on tonight as well. Um, the prayer request was this week. Uh, we're going to be praying. Um, make sure we send a special prayer up tonight for Brother Ryan. Um, he's in need of prayer. He has been diagnosed with the coronavirus, and this is uh, he um, um, is feeling extremely bad. And um, this is what he's he quoted. He said that I feel like um, I'm not going to make it. 
So that's exactly what his words, what he said. I feel like I'm not going to make it. And we know that God is able. And with him, all things are possible. With him, healing takes place. Deliverance takes place. So we're going to pray for Brother Ryan on tonight that God touch him and heal his body. Because we don't want no believers in Christ to think that they're not going to make it. You hear me? We want all believers to know that long you got Christ on your side, you're going to make it. Amen. Amen. So we want to go ahead and move this thing along. So um, I don't know if it's Sister Shonda, are you on the line tonight, sweetie? Sister Shonda? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. How you doing, baby? <laughs> that's that's my little sweetheart right there. That's my little sweetheart. My, I call my little uh my little sis right there. My little sister. But sweet, I know you said you want to welcome the callers. Um, you know you want to welcome the callers. Matter of fact, let them know what the prayer line, what this request. Uh, I'm not, mm, let me get my words together, y'all. Let let the callers. And let the listeners know, Sister Shonda, how, um, mm-hmm. why is it so important to um, get with other believers to pray? Give them your insight mm-hmm. on that. Like, what? why do you think, you know, why do you think it's such a good, you know, why is it a good thing to for believers to come together and pray? You know, why Why do you think that's such a good thing? Why do you think God is asking, you know, telling us in his word that uh, when two or three come together in his name, there he would be. Let us know. Elaborate on that. What do you? How do you uh-huh. feel about it? Yeah. Yeah. You say you feel good about it. Why? Uh-huh. Why do you think that? Um. Why do you think it? Why do you think? Uh, I mean, um, it's well. I'm gonna put it like this. I don't want to see my no little pop quiz or that. But I want to, um, you know, mm-hmm. what have prayer, praying with others, what have that done for you in your life? Having other, having others to pray with you uh-huh. and you praying with others. How how uh-huh. have that changed your life? And, you know, what have it done for you throughout mm-hmm. the years? Hmm. My relationship, for one. Mm, amen. Uh, people, yeah, people encouraged me. Mm. Uh, it been, I've been good. Amen. You know. Amen. So since basically since, yeah. so basically since you've been praying with having you know praying with other believers and having people pray for you, and you praying with others, mm-hmm. that has pretty much improved your relationship with others, and it and it's um been mm-hmm. it's been causing good things to come in your life. Basically, that's what you're saying, right? Uh huh. And with God. Amen, amen. So your walk got stronger with God. Uh huh. Amen, amen. I thank God for that. I thank yeah. God for that. Amen. Anybody else want to elaborate on why we feel why why you feel as if you know? Well, I'm gonna put it like this. Have in do anybody else up here want to elaborate on why it's a blessing to be able to pray for others and pray with others? Anybody else want to elaborate on mm-hmm. that? Oh, oh, Miss Vicky. Uh huh. Oh, uh, look, oh, uh, uh, we got a band storm come up tomorrow at two o'clock. Oh, really? Uh, I just heard it. Uh huh. So we got a band storm coming up at two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Mm, I'm glad you told me that. I didn't know nothing about it. I'm glad you told me we're gonna have to pray. Uh-huh. We're gonna pray, definitely pray, and um, so that God can keep us covered in that storm. Amen. Amen. Uh-huh. Amen. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and elaborate let it go on. Away. Huh? I said, let the storm go another way. Mm, yeah, that's right. Cause God can turn the storm now. He can turn the storm. Amen. What's not possible with man is always possible with God. Amen. 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 But back to the question, I'm going to elaborate on why it's, it's, it's good to pray with others and help people pray for you. It's good to, to pray with others because sometimes we be put in positions where we just feel like we're going through so much and we feel like we can't pray for ourselves. And 
we all have been there before where we have been so down and we have been going through so much and we just felt like we couldn't even lift a prayer up for ourselves so that's why it's good to get with other believers so that you know you can be able have to be able to uh have someone pray for you and and to join with other believers in prayer is a blessing because God said when two or three join together, he said, if you ask of anything in his name, it will be done for you. So if we, if, if I'm getting together with you and it's two of us, two or either more, then God said in his word that he would do whatever he had, whatever we ask of him, as long as it, you know, basically lining up with the word of God, you know, lining up with his will. Because God would not go outside his will for anybody, you know. So if it's inside his will, what we're asking of, you know, of him, he would definitely do it for us. So it's definitely a blessing to be able to join any type of prayer group. It's definitely a blessing to have a prayer partner, you know, because even I, you know, at at times, you know, need somebody to pray for me, (laughs) you know, because one Mm. thing about it, the you know, sometimes the attacks that the devil, when the devil come at us with some different attacks and stuff, sometimes it can be overwhelming. And, and it, it, it takes prayers from others to remove it sometimes, remove that burden, that stronghold, you know, to take the prayers of other people to intercede on our behalf. So prayer is a, is a very, very important, uh, uh, a very important, um, uh, uh, um, how can I put this? It's very important in our it's very important in our Christian walk to have a prayer life and to get with other believers for prayer. And it's very, very important. So I advise everybody by the sound of my voice, if you're listening to me right now, not just on the line here tonight, but just in general, if you come against the audio video, if you're listening to me, please, 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 please find get with some b- other believers. Because it's gonna, it's gonna come a time in your walk with God, and it's gonna things gonna feel like it's too heavy for you. And God, and God will, um, you know, and 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 God appreciate unity. So be able to get rid of other believers so that that burden may be lifted. Amen. Amen. I thank Amen. God. I thank God for unity. I thank God for unity. Amen. Because when you when you walk in this walk by yourself, it gets hard. And sometimes when you're going through, sometimes, you know, you just need somebody to say, you know what, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right, sister. It's going to be all right, brother. It ain't going to always be like this. God is on your side. Mm -hmm. Amen. And um, Mm -hmm. don't ever think that you're, you know, don't ever think that you're by yourself. If you come in contact with this prayer line, you know, this warfare line, I want you to know that you're a part of, you are part of what God is going on. You are part of this ministry. And, um, you know, that's why I always send reminder texts out to remind people that, you know, tonight is the night that we're going to pray. So if you need prayer, it's up to you to accept it. It's up to you to accept the invitation. But I pray that each and everybody would take advantage of what God is doing. And there's no other time than 12 o'clock midnight to pray. Cause you got to pray the devil away. <laughs> you can't just live a Christian life and think everything gonna be rosy, rosy. You got to pray that devil away. Amen. You got to pray the devil away. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody got any testimonies or anything? Anything going on in your life? Because we want to know what God is doing. We want to know. Anybody got a praise report? Because we want to know what's going on in your life i want to first of all i want to say this i don't want nobody to feel timid you know or feel scared because god did not give us a spirit of fear he gave us power love and a sound mind so all to have all to have breath praise the lord don't let nobody take your praise from you if you got breath in your body honey then you got a praise report <laughs> You got a praise report, honey, and don't let nobody take it away from you. Amen. Amen. You don't got to be a pastor or, you know, a preacher or or, or 
a teacher or whatever you know any of them five four ministries you don't have to be uh have a title to lift up your voice and give the god give god praise and to give him honor god said those that are he said when the holy spirit come upon you this is what he said in acts when the holy spirit come upon you you shall be my witnesses hallelujah so we all have the right to witness we all have the authority to witness long you are filled with the holy spirit you have the authority and the right god ordained witnesses in this hour hallelujah so anybody up here to want to witness i know it's, i know it's 12 o'clock midnight and y'all probably already tired and stuff like that but you know push through god said those that endure to the end so we're gonna have to endure this thing we're gonna have to push amen so um anybody got a testimony or praise report if you do the f- we want to go ahead and, and, and give you time to go ahead and let us know what god has done in your life amen yeah. you about to say I something sweet to thank god for his- uh-huh i continue to thank god for healing in my life, in my family's life, Amen. from this virus and other, and other infirmities that they may that they may have gotten, I thank him. I'm so grateful for his healing anointing mm. over my family and those who are close to us. Amen. 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 Yes, because it's so. I'm. I'm so happy that you said that because you know it's so. You know. We're, we're we're dealing with a virus that's that can't not be seen with the eyes you know this is an invisible force that has came upon the earth and um you know and we're just thankful you know um i know i haven't been affected about you know um with the coronavirus or any you know of that of that nature but i just thank god you know mm-hmm. i thank god for covering me and my family as well because you know i I have heard on the news and i I actually for the first time had uh someone that was a friend of the family had passed away um i think it was last week and um she didn't have any known um sickness or disease as far as i know of and um they said that she passed away due to the uh coronavirus so it's definitely a force that we have to pray against because it's, it's, it's causing a lot of, of it's causing a lot of sicknesses and a lot of things to, to go wrong in the air it's not just affecting the bodies physically but it's also affecting you know people financially you know um mentally and spiritually is affecting um so we definitely have to pray against that thing because it's definitely a force there's only going to take the prayer prayer warriors is only going to take prayer to push that thing away amen because god answer prayers amen. hallelujah nothing is too hard for god he don't care how long that thing been about he don't care where it came from nothing is too hard for god hallelujah amen. thank you lord god thank you lord god i just want to um definitely say I'm sorry. What was that, sweetie? I was saying I was I was so grateful. I've not known anyone that died, but I have had some family members and extended family members that got it, mm. and that you know they're all right. They're all right. They did not have to be in the hospital or on ventilators, but wow. they're all right. Wow. You're right. This is the atmosphere, so we have to come together. Mm. We have to guide this stuff. Right. Doing things that the Jesus is God and come together in agreement. Right, right. We might even have to say this thing is in the atmosphere, so we have to send out prayers in yes. the atmosphere. Amen. There's no, there's no special formula, there's no special prayer. We just have to pray from our heart uh-huh. that that's, we don't want right. our family. That's our right. Extended family. Amen. Our God. People are losing homes. Yeah. We don't, we don't want that. That's true. You know, I can't imagine any people that want that. So we earnestly have to come together yep. one by one Amen. and say something into the atmosphere to pull that Amen. sucker down so Amen. he can stop 
Amen. Amen. And you know what? And the and the, the main thing is we need some people are trying to fight this thing on their own accord. And that's why some people this this pandemic is driving some people crazy. Literally literally crazy. You know, and it's it's driving people into mm-hmm. depression and people having anxiety. But one thing about it, we need as as believers need to let people know that when you got God and you keep your mind stayed on him, he will keep you in peace, peace that passes all understanding. Because sometimes our mind will wonder because the, 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 the battle, the, our mind is Satan's battleground. If he can get you to think a certain way, then he pretty much can, you know, enforce him, his, 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 um, um, his, uh, you know, his, uh, what can I put, what kind how can I say these? He can enforce his um, attacks on you if you, you know, if he can get you, get it in your mind that you're by yourself, get it in your mind that, that you know, that that's, nobody cares. You know, if he can get all this in your mind, then he pretty much can win the battle. So I'm telling you, we have to un we have to let people know that don't help Jesus Christ. We need to allow, we need to, as believers, lift up our voice and, and recommend Jesus mm-hmm. Christ to each and every body. Because I'm telling you, we mm-hmm. live it in the last and evil days. Anything is bound to take mm-hmm. place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, we got to get used. I mean, the new norm now is walking around with a mask on. You know, back then, if you're walking around with a mask on, going in stores, you've been done got arrested. But now, you can't even go in a store unless you got a mask on. You know, it's it's very mm-hmm. different now. And it just let us know that Jesus Christ is on his way back. And, you know, he, mm-hmm. he's coming for his church. You know, and church doesn't mean a church mm-hmm. building. You know, a church is you, the Holy Spirit is within you. And if you don't have his church inside of you, inside of you, you will not go back to be with our Lord and Savior. So the main goal is to get the word out about Jesus Christ so all will not be lost. Because God said in his word is not his will that anybody shall perish. Amen. It's not his will. Hallelujah. So, you. you know, as children of God, what was that, I was, sweetie? I was, Vicky, I was, you're, you're right. We have to be like the ten virgins. We have to be like the five virgins that was ready mm-hmm. when the bridegroom comes. Amen. When Jesus comes back, we have to be ready. When we see and hear things like that, we honestly have to say to each other, to our brothers and sisters, mm-hmm. get out of my mind. Get out of my eyes, get out of my ears, get out of my mouth, get out of my heart, get under my feet, you are found in the name of Jesus. I mean, you don't have to have any special words, talk from your heart. That's right. And let God know, God gives us the authority. Jesus gave us the authority when he died on the cross. He's not waiting for, well, Jesus, I'm I'm waiting for you to do that. No, no, Mm -hmm. he gave you the authority. He's waiting for you to move, for you to ask. So he can send the, the, the correct angels to help you. Amen. He sent each other. He sent me to help you. He sent me to help my brothers and sisters that's listening to this. Amen. We're supposed to help each other. Amen. Never mind what was said or done. You have to be like kids. You have to walk in love and forgiveness. Amen. You have to be, I don't care what it was, how long ago it was, or how bad it hurt. Amen. Father says, Forgive them seventy times seventy. Mm. You can't come together in court. You got a lot of mess in your heart because he's not gonna hear you, and we need him to hear us so he can send the angels to help us cover the atmosphere and the ground, the wind, and the waters and the fire. Because if if Mm. it has, Mm. if you're not, if you're not in distress now, you will be. Yeah. How long can you go without making money? Mm. You can't keep your apartment, and you mm. can't keep hanging around the house. That's a, that's depressing in itself. Amen. Hanging around the house, nowhere to go, Amen. with your own evil thought, Amen. evil negative thought. Come on now. Mm-hmm. He said, he said you, it doesn't have to be a church building. But he did say everybody got neighbors. Everybody mm-hmm. got neighbors. Amen. Reach out and encourage those people that you really don't like. 
Yeah. <laughs> give him a hug. Yes. Give him a smile. That's what they Give him a scripture from God. That's what he's asking us to do. We Amen. have to pull down these strongholds, these captivity, these mountains. Don't 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 just get within yourself and say, I ain't gonna be bothering her later for I'm glad it's happening to them. That, that's not that's not a God. Amen. Amen. He said, you help your brother and sister. The best way you can do that is, is we say, Can I hold your hand? Let me just say a prayer over you. Let me just say a short prayer over you, baby. And everything's gonna be all right. Amen. You know that that makes we, we are the living Bible until Jesus comes back. This is That's what right. people will see and do, us uh, talking and walking in God's ways and will. It's not easy. He didn't say it was going to be, but you can do it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Everything that was brought forth, um, which you just brought forth while ago, Sister um, Lena, I just, that was just, I, I felt it. I knew it's from the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, the hardest thing to do sometimes is to forgive those that have hurt you. Um, and, and the hardest thing to do, at, you know, is, is definitely pray for people that have hurt you in any kind of way. But we know what the word of God has said, that we must forgive all, you know, you know, in order for, we have to forgive others in order for our sins to be forgiven. And, um, you know, and, you know, we just got to do, like you said, you know, do good towards others. You know, we, we have to do that because that represents Christ. And if we're in Christ likeness, then we have to do what we have to treat every situation as if, you know, and we have to look at it in a way as if like, we have to think to ourselves, okay, will Christ do this? Will Christ react this way? You know, so we have to put him first in all that we do and mm-hmm. all that we say. Yeah, Amen. Amen. So I definitely received that. Amen. Um, I have a scripture on tonight. <laughs> Amen. I have a scripture. Yeah, yeah. Um, calls us to be disciples of men. To, to, like what you're doing, you're teaching other people how to stand on God's word to fight. Mm. We're teaching them how to how to come together in unity with each other, no matter Amen. what's going on Amen. between you. We have Amen. to come together like this. Yeah, and Amen. and and you find that in scripture. So, if, and if you don't know how to read the scripture, this is a good place to start. Because Victor Vicky has a good habit of bringing up scriptures for you to for you to um, go back and and Amen. read. Amen. And that's how you find. Honestly, how you fight. Yeah, that's I right. I mean, break it down and, and your own words for 2020, but that's how you fight. That's right. That's right, because God said his word is sharper than any two-edged sword. And with that being mm. said, we can't fight Satan. Where You know, when, 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 when after Jesus was baptized, you know, and the, and the Holy Spirit led him out, um, you know, in the desert to be tempted by Satan, you know, because the Holy Spirit did lead him out there. And, um, you know, when he was led out there, you know, him, Satan and God was having, I mean, Satan and Jesus was having a word, having a conversation back and forth with each other. And Jesus yeah. kept telling Satan, it is written, you know, and then Satan tried to use the word against mm-hmm. Jesus, you know, but that's why we have to be careful with the interpretation of the word because sometimes that's why it's always good if you don't have no biblical knowledge it's always good to get with other believers that have knowledge of the bible because sometimes you know people can know the word but they'll use it in the wrong way or they'll use it out of context context and Jesus. Amen. And Jesus. that's what Satan was pretty much doing to Jesus. But 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 Jesus kept coming back at him. You know, it is written. It is written. It is written. And that's what we have. That's how we have to fight Satan. We have to fight him with God's living word. We can't fight him on our own accord. How we feel or what we feel like we should say. Yeah, you're supposed to pray. But you pray according to the scriptures. Yeah, you're supposed to you know, lift your voice to God and, 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 you know, do all those things, but do not forsake the word of God because the word of God is what's going to stand when everything else has failed. Amen. So we have to treat the word of God as such. 
you know we our life depends upon the word and that's why you know when i started Mm -hmm. this warfare line it's based off the word of god you know it's based off the word of god i try to have as many scriptures in it as possible because it's not about what how i feel it's all about god and what he is doing Mm -hmm. in the atmosphere (laughs) you know um i always tell i'm sorry you try to say something sweetie no, no, I was just talking with you. Oh, okay. I always try to mm-hmm. tell people, please get serious about the word of God. You know, please, if you don't go mm-hmm. to church like that, you know, that's your, if you don't go to a church building, that's your own individual choice. But please do not forsake the word of God. Please do not forsake the word of God. Just like our fleshly body needs food, guess what? The spirit needs the word. Because the spirit, some people's spirits are starving because they never get no word. How is the, how you expect your spirit to, to, to be enlightened and, and to be, uh, refreshed and you don't have the word of, you don't never feed your spirit the word of God. Hallelujah. How do you think you're going to stand in these last and evil days without the word of God? You don't go without food. Some of y'all go get a double cheeseburger and a McDonald's. Mm. Go get some McDonald's foods right now. A mm. uh, uh, pizza, Domino pizza. Y'all would tear it up, mm. honey. Some soul food, net bone, collard greens. Come on now, if you're going to do that, you can get, pick up the word of God. Think about it. Think about it. Your spirit right. needs the word of God. Just like you eat natural food, you need the food of the word. Jesus Christ has come to set the captives free hallelujah you need to know the good news hallelujah praise god um this is saying is so important Vicky, because if you don't read your bible if you don't if you don't ask holy spirit that's his job for interpretation he, he would bring someone mm-hmm. near you. He would bring someone across your path Amen. to help you get understanding. Right, he will. But you have to ask. If right. you don't read that Bible and put word and scriptures in you, you won't have anything to pull up when you in a fight. Amen. So you need, Amen. So you get understanding. Because the spirit of heaven is all around you and all kinds of chaos. Your, right. your, your appliances, your cars. Your yeah, friendship, your relationship, your church, your community, your family. Mm. You go chaotic. Amen. You need to ask I don't know. Mm. You, you know, he said your spirit mm. knows what to say, so you need to ask him. Yeah. And, and as you pick up that book, the Bible, mm. the supernaturally inspired Bible, he will give you a word. I'm yeah. always telling people, get pen and paper, because he will give you a word if you ask him. And God is a jealous God. Yes, amen. Ask him amen. first before so you can take the phone and ask somebody else. Amen. Before so you tell somebody and he will make your way clear. That's right. It, it's not easy because the world, the world is so full of, of, of pleasures from the different senses of our body. Yeah, that's, that's why true. people find the body hard. Mm-hmm. But you got brothers and sisters that will help walk with, through the Bible. That will help walk you through it. Not to, not, to, not to try to control your life, mm-hmm. but simply give you scriptures to help you stand and fight mm-hmm. some things that mm-hmm. you're going through. Amen. Amen. That's why we do this. Amen. That's yeah. exactly right. That's exactly yeah. right. See me, man. See me, scriptures. See me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You talked about all that physical food. Now, give me some scripture. <laughs> true, true. And you know what? Just like God, like you said, God will send somebody in your path to, you know, to, to help guide you and, and to help you, you know, you know, to get the right interpretation of the word. Just like what God does, of course, Satan know how to turn himself into an angel of light. And so what he would do is right. send somebody in your path as well to turn you away from God, to turn you away from the word. And also, if if you do read a word, make you throw the word out of context, you know, make you use it in a way that is not, you know, in a way that God's not really saying it, you know, because I, I heard, you know, by me doing outreach. I hear so many people that literally know the word, but then when they try to explain it, it don't even, it's, it's not lining up with what the word says. So it's, it's being taken out of context. And, and, and Satan is good at doing that. 
he good at doing it and that's how he throws confusion in the church because he'll take the word and twist it around amen if you're not careful that's why i tell everybody please 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 get with believers believers of christ believers amen (laughs) test the spirit and make sure it's of god because you can get with the wrong people you know and you can be to the wrong place and the next thing you know you 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 know you is um you know you'll be led away be led astray by some false doctrine so you have to be mindful you know you got to be mindful on on what church you join where you go you know and and, um you got to be mindful who you study the bible with even what who prayer groups you join because if it's not based off the word of god then you're in you're in deep trouble you're in deep trouble amen so everything you do please be led by god in all that you do especially new believers new believers please do not forsake do not forsake gatherings with when you have a chance to join a prayer group and you have a chance to get with other believers do not forsake in that because god had um uh, he he blessed unity for the edifying of his church um, for his church and he he you know and, and what you may not know or understand that believer can help you you know so you know you so so that you can have a better understanding of what god is saying because it's all about the word of god you know amen it's all about the okay. word of god mm-hmm. i tell anybody how can you do the word of god when you don't know the word of god <laughs> you know you oh. gotta know the word mm-hmm. amen. amen amen but i want to go ahead and move on um the scripture for tonight um is Gal- is um Galatians um chapter 6 um verse 7 through 9 and it says um do not be deceived god cannot be mocked a man reaps what he sows whoever sows to please their flesh from the flesh will reap destruction whoever sows to please the spirit from the spirit will reap eternal life let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up amen praise god praise god huh galatians what um chapter six okay yeah chapter six verse seven through nine seven through nine okay okay yeah do not yeah. be deceived god cannot be mocked a man will reap what he sows you know what we got to understand that whatever we do in this life we will reap it if you out here doing mm-hmm. good and you helping others and you praying for others, you encouraging others, you know, you're giving to the best of your ability, you know, and you're doing it, you know, because you love God and you're doing it because you don't want to see you have a heart for people and you're going to you're going to sow good things. But if you're out here doing bad Mm -hmm. things, you out here living any kind of way, doing the opposite of what God's word says, treating people mean, doing any kind of way, causing a lot of confusion in the atmosphere. If you're talking, backbiting, if you're doing all types of evil deeds, you're going to reap that. You're going to reap that. That means it's going to come back Mm -hmm. to you. And that's not, you. there's no way of getting out of it. So I, I... you know it's it's been a time in my life that i had you know you know i have reaped (laughs) some things because i have done bad you know but when i came to the knowledge of jesus christ and i read god's word and what his word had said about me and i began to believe his word and i began to apply his word (laughs) to my life i realized that how i react to people you know has changed drastically you know i try you know and even now i'm not saying that when you follow god you know 
you're just gonna have you know everybody gonna be nice to you and everybody gonna want to be around you you know and you're gonna just be, you know you're gonna make friends because most of the time sometimes it's gonna be the opposite you come to christ people gonna hate you people gonna talk about you people gonna criticize you people gonna say all type of mean people will make up stuff about you you know, as me being a follower of Jesus Christ, people don't talk about me and said things about me that I didn't even know that happened in my life. And I heard them be like, what? That literally happened to me? You know, so what I'm saying is when you come to Christ, don't expect that everything's going to be a walk in the park and people is going to automatically treat you with the upright respect because some people are not going to do that, you know, because everybody is not operating mm-hmm. In and, uh, under the Holy Spirit, and this is what we have to realize. But we still, regardless of what people say to us or about us, and regardless how people respond to us, even if it's in a negative way or not, we have to sow good seeds. We have to still represent Jesus Christ, regardless mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. what you know has been said or done to us. And it's I didn't say it's, it's easy. Because Lord knows it ain't easy. Whew. It ain't easy. <laughs> Not to get the Vaseline. I don't know if these kids do that now or whatever. Get the, you know when you about to fight, you get that Vaseline and you go put them sneakers on. Um, People will actually make you go back to that lifestyle. But you got to remember it's the word of God. It's the Holy Spirit that convince you and tell you, uh-uh, honey, you, you got to do better. You got to do better in this situation. It is time. It, it, it's, it's times where people had hurt me so bad they lied straight up lied to on me, you know. And I only thing I ever did was try to help them, and they straight up lied on me. And I'd be like, God, I'm not gonna talk to that person no more. They can forget about me. But then it's like if I see that person again, I end up talking to that person. It's like the Holy Spirit will not allow me to treat people the way that they treat me. And sometimes the Holy Spirit has to convict me mm-hmm. <laughs> numerous of times sometimes be like Vicky mm-hmm. you can't do that girl you gotta keep it 100 yeah. you can't do that and um you know and I just thank God you know I tell anybody you can't live this life without the Holy Spirit mm-hmm. you need the Holy Spirit cause the Holy Spirit mm-hmm. is your helper you know it's okay to have mm-hmm. sister Lena or you know or have me or have your pastor or a minister or someone of that of that nature in your in your life to to you know encourage you but the main encourager you need is the holy spirit because the holy spirit is there when nobody else is available amen and you need somebody's going to tell you "Uh uh-uh brother don't do that don't go pick that gun up don't don't do it don't do it You gonna need somebody to tell you, sister. Uh, uh-uh, you need to put that weed down. Put it, put it down. Put it down. Pick up the word of God. Pick up the word of God. What did God say? You know, you gonna need it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. I mean, it's so much, what you're saying is so important because in in this supernaturally inspired Bible. The every situation that any human that walks on this earth is going to go through. Mm-hmm. So you 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 mm-hmm. have your out. If you read the word, you have your out. Mm-hmm. If you ask Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. He will show you where to find what you need, Amen. especially the, the book of Job, because Job was so sick. I mean, mm-hmm. we had the pandemic, but yeah. he was sitting there covered in boils and, and sores and all other kind of stuff mm-hmm. and smelling because that that's the thing. His mm-hmm. friends. Who mm. were high in the church, like Pharisees, they were high in the church, telling mm. him, man, just curse God to die. Even his wife, yeah. all mm-hmm. these were Christian people, mm-hmm. him telling him to, but he didn't do it, and he ended up praying for them, mm. which made mm-hmm. God spare mm-hmm. them. Yes. Well, so oh, you, you have to, like he's telling you, you have to hook up with other believers. God yes. loves you, and he loves you. Yes. And he ain't gonna be in nobody's mess. I don't care what title you got. You're gonna be surprised when you get to heaven and see that title that mm-hmm. you make all yourself hey. <laughs> That's right. But you have to look up to me if you just have to. And it does not have to be in a church. I encourage you to go to church mm-hmm. because God loves students. Amen. And you're supposed to get together and be taught if you're finding that that's not what's happening, then leave. Mm-hmm. Don't just leave because somebody didn't like your outfit Amen. or somebody didn't ask you to give. Or because you think people are ostracizing you, you go 
hear the words you go say to the Lord, I'm expecting you to speak to me. I'm expecting the preacher to preach to me. I'm expecting to find me in your word. To find strength for these temptations. To find healing for these sicknesses and stuff like that. Don't don't go with other expectations. Amen. Don't go remind the God of the promise. So when so when the before the altar call, you you got your healing, you got your what you your strength, what you came in there for. No matter what got you in that situation, God, Jesus the Christ, who mm, got on that cross, for the guilt to be for. Yes. He cleaned it up. He brought people back to life. Yes. He let a, he let an ass go to speak to his, his master so he wouldn't get killed. Amen. Come on now, you can use you too. Amen. Speak to your neighbor, speak to your family, speak to your co worker. And if necessary, speak to your boss. Mm, 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 mm. Whatever the situation is, you have to stick to it. He gave you that authority. Amen. He expects you to use it. Amen. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. Praise God. I'm I feel like I just had me half a piece. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. You know what? I thank God. I thank God because God. Is, is is amazing God, you know. He don't give us what we deserve, yes. you know. He don't give us deserve oh, what we deserve, yes. you know. Amen. And um, that's it's that's just honest about what we've done at least to ourselves, right? Amen. Right. That's, that's, right. That's, that's, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I, oh I'm no, no, no! I was listening to you, I sweetie. Have... No, I was listening to you, baby. You keep right <laughs> on, honey. That's <laughs> That's why a lot of non-believers mm-hmm. don't go to church mm-hmm. because the people that have that have been delivered from strongholds, captivity, and their mountains and their molehills, mm-hmm. they they forget where they come from instead of reaching back for their brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. They're sitting there with their big hats on, thinking mm-hmm. they've made it to heaven, Lord and they will be so disappointed mm-hmm. because yes. the Lord says. Ooh. My sheep. He said, when you learn, mm, you go mm, back and give it to your brothers and sisters who ain't there yet. Mm, that's walking in love. Yes. That's the, that's the biggest test. Can you honestly go back to somebody you don't like, you felt offended, you felt rejected, you mm-hmm. felt disappointed from? Mm. Can you honestly reach out to that person? Mm. That's what Heavenly Father, that's what Jesus is looking for. Mm, mm. And then you're going to stand before him and ask him for favor and blessing. Mm. And you won't even do that to the people that's walking with you. God loves the people. Sure I don't care what we did or said. He loves the people. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Until we can embrace that. Mm. Until we can embrace that. But you know, we say, Nikki, you know, we, I'll, pray, I'll call you in a minute and stand with me in prayer. Yeah, that's right. We you got sure it. You got to die for self. Right. And now you got to die for self. Yes, in right. order to do that. You can't be walking around here. You can you can be with the sinner man, but you can't. You know you can't partake of it mm, because mm-hmm. he delivered you from that. Amen. Who the Lord has delivered you from the deed. Don't go back. He said, don't go back. And if you're not strong enough from the temptation, he'll send you a helper. He will. All along the Bible, you know that every there was two by two. Mm. Not necessarily the husband and wife, because a lot of times the wife stayed home. Mm. But he sent the disciples out two by two. He didn't expect nobody. Yeah. To go through anything by wow. themselves. Mm. You have to open up. You have, you have to be hurting. It's okay if they're going to talk about you. They don't even know what you really did mm-hmm. or didn't do, but they're going to make something up on you anyway. That's right. <laughs> they show sure so, will. Show sure will. Right. So confess it first. You confess it first, and it'll be all right. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I'll be some fun <laughs> on the thing. Don't ask me to come to the church. I'm not going to get over the holler. Thank you, Jesus. I know that's I right. It. I know and that's I'm right. Mm, All know my knuckleheads are still here. Amen. You know? Yeah, yeah. Amen. I'm up And then you know how you holler when you go to a ball game or something like that? Mm-hmm. Sister Lena going to holler. <laughs> Don't ask me. I'm going to holler. I'm going to holler. I'm going to And then when I feel my father there, he said, he said, hi, Lenore. And girl, I'm, up, then I'm jumping up and down because my father's there. <laughs> wow. So, you can't get that. <laughs> 
She's right on with the service. I'll be right. I'm gonna be right in my little corner. For I know that's God, right. Yeah. I know that's right. And I ain't gonna stop. I know that's right. But you know what? You said a mouthful there. You said a mouthful. And you know what? People need to stop turning away, turning people away that got tattoos that that because they wear their hair a certain way, because they don't come to church with a dress on. You know, stop all of it. Now, now I understand yeah. why the word of God said that man judge the outer appearance, but God judges the heart. Yeah. Because that person might got tattooed, but he might got a heart of God. He may got a heart. He might be right. more righteous than a person that don't have tattoos that come to the church every yeah. Sunday with a suit on. I mean, come on. We got to <laughs> stop this judging the outer appearance mess because that's not how you look on the outside. The outside is not going to get you to the kingdom of heaven. It's what's in the inside is what God is going to be looking at. <laughs> Hallelujah. And if I'm no, knowing that, that, you know, because a lot of people are homeless, especially nowadays because of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. People That's are right. homeless. People are homeless. People don't really have food. People are selling their food stamps because they got to pay a bill or get something yeah, that they need true. money that's for. True. Stop being judgmental. If you're not going to throw them a few dollars, take if you're scared they're going to misuse it, you should pray about it first. Though. <laughs> that's but right. Take them and let them buy them some soap and, and stuff like that. Let them come home and spend a night. Because a lot mm-hmm. of these people you know, they're yeah. in your neighborhood. Mm-hmm. You know, they lost their job. They're ashamed to tell you that. Yeah, that's You know, true. you ain't got no. My grandmother used to say, keep some rice and potatoes in the, <laughs> in the house because you can always spend it. <laughs> you know, you can go to Big and Biggie and get 10 cans for $6. Come yeah. on now, $6. Yeah, yeah that's true. But you can run over and get that hand and get the nail done. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's true. That's true. That is God. true. God. Amen. So, Amen. That is true. Lord Hammer, that is so true. I give you a lot and expect you to give it to others. That's yeah. why he gives you a lot. That's true. That's he true. Said, you people, people become so selfish and, 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 and it's all about me. And, and, yeah. and, and come on, clean, clean up your own heart. Then you have somebody to clean theirs up. That's right. That's right. That's I'm, right. I'm, 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 but, you know, I, you, you got to fast. So I'm, I'm always during the week, not just on Wednesday when my church do it. Mm-hmm. I'm always during the week fasting. Mm-hmm. Because some some stuff you got to help talk somebody out of or off the ledge. You have to have fast. You don't That's have any right. You have to have fast. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's everything yeah. we're talking about is in the Bible. Yeah. Different stories in the Bible. That's but if right. I start saying scripts and stuff like that, people are going to get confused. And when they go home, they're going to say, she thought real good, but I don't know where that script is. I don't know how to do that. You have to ask somebody to help you. Let mm-hmm. somebody know you don't know. So, you, so they can help you. It's not Amen. that hard. I don't know what all these and vibes are either. And a lot of the names I can't pronounce. That's but right. I, I still read it. Yeah, you, but you try and push <laughs> on. Try, <laughs> try to do the best you can and push on. But you know what? You're right about that because fasting, some spirits will not leave you unless you pray and fast. You know, pr- fasting is 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 denying, you know, food. And I know a lot of people look at fasting. They say, well, I can fast off Facebook and I can fast. And I'm not saying don't fast from those things. But what's going to edify your spirit is when you fast from food. You know, because that's what's intended is to fast from food. But I do, I will say that, you know, you know, it's it's good to fast from social media and fast from people, places and things, you know, um, especially if it is not good for your spirit. It is good to fast from that. But please do not forsake fasting from food, because sometimes you got to turn that plate down. And, um, you know, to get rid of some sh- these strongholds that the devil may have on you, you know, because some, th- some things that, you know, some attacks, some attacks is going to take you fasting and you going to God with sincerity, you know, going to God wholeheartedly and fasting and, and, and asking God to lift that burden. Oh, so, you know, please do not forsake fasting. So I'm glad, Sister Lena, you brought that up amen amen the holy spirit just been 
speaking and having his way hallelujah thank you holy spirit it's <laughs> after one o'clock but you know what we about to go on ahead amen and go ahead and get into prayer because we definitely want to pray for brother um ryan um let me make sure i got his name right yeah brother ryan um he called he left a voicemail on the um prayer request line and he said you know i need prayer i've been diagnosed with the coronavirus and i'm feeling extremely bad and i feel like i'm not going to make it so we want to go ahead and go into prayer so please you know get to a in a comfortable position um when men and women of god is online tonight get into a, a, a position where you can touch and agree with what's being put in the atmosphere and i will say please come forth with any type of words of encouragement come forth with any prophecy come forth um Amen. because we want it all to be used by the holy spirit we don't want to hinder what the holy spirit wants to put out there in the atmosphere so please come Amen. forth if you know if it's if it's something that's burning inside of you if you get that tingling sensation in your belly hallelujah that fire mm -hmm. deep down in your mm -hmm. belly that's what i like to call it if it's if it's if if if, mm -hmm. if you need to let loose and blow out some steam go ahead and do what does say the lord okay all right amen i'm gonna start the prayer off tonight so please thanks that's online touch and agree oh and i also want to pray for um brother dory love he's on he's a youtuber but I, I advise all to follow him because he do outreach. Um, he do outreach and um, he just had an issue um, going on where they took, uh, he was out there spreading the word of God and some people came by, ran away with his equipment. Then he ended up had to go to jail. And, um, you know, so we're going to pray. I went to his channel. I told him that I was going to, you know, we was going to pray for him. So we're going to pray for his ministry as well. Oh, uh, man. So we, I just need all to touch and agree. Amen. Father yeah, God. Father God, I thank you, Father, for everything that you're doing in the earth, oh God. I thank you for this gathering, oh God. God, we come to you, God, asking for forgiveness, God. If there's anything that we said or done, willingly and unwillingly, God, that wasn't pleasing in your sight, please forgive us, oh God, because we want to be made right in your sight, God. We want to be pleasing to you, Lord God. And Father God, we accept your forgiveness right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, I come mm -hmm. forth in prayer for Brother Ryan, oh God. He said that he's in need of prayer. He has been diagnosed with the coronavirus, oh God. He said he's been feeling mm -hmm. extremely down. He feels as if he's going, can't make it. But God, we know that all things is possible <laughs> through you, God. We know, God, that you make a way out of no way, Lord God. We know that you are a healer, God, and a deliverer, Lord God. God, I pray, God, that you would touch him right now, Lord God. Touch every part of his body God that is out of line with your will God touch his body give him a peace of mind oh God that passes all understanding Lord God God let him know that everything is going to be alright long as he lean on you Lord God because God is not your will that we be confused that we be scared and we think negative God put a, a positive bring that give, give, him a, give him positive thoughts oh God throughout the rest of his days oh God let him know that he can lean on you in a time of trouble because you are there that you will never leave him you will never forsaken him god i thank you for his your healing power upon his life oh god lift that spirit up off of him oh god that spirit of infirmity oh god lift it up father god may he be healed may he be delivered may he be set free in the mighty name of jesus lord god we pray for brother dory love lord god he is a youtuber that you had called for these de for mm -hmm. these days these last and evil days he was out preaching the gospel and and the uh, satan had sent his demons to go out and terrorize him oh mm -hmm. lord god but god we know that you is a god that 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 will heal we know you a god that will bring deliverance we know that you mm -hmm. a god that will protect and shield mm -hmm. we know that you are everything that we need in this time in these last and wicked days god put a mm -hmm. hedge of protection around him oh god god cover him as he go out and preach the gospel god we know that satan is trying to do everything he can do to try to stop
stop your word from going forth in the earth but God we know that you are right there with us along the way oh God have your way oh God God allow brother Dory allow brother Dory to have everything that he needs to continue his journey oh God and God continue on bringing him more followers oh God so they may listen and hear the word of God father God I thank you for each and every listener each and every participant that's online tonight God cover them oh God cover them for their obedience oh God and for the sacrifices they have made oh God by raising up 12 o'clock in the midnight hour to pray God keep them Lord God in these last and evil days we know it takes warfare just to come together and to fellowship the devil is trying to do everything he can to stop us from getting together oh God but God have your way oh God tear down the walls of Jericho over our lives oh God all the strongholds got to come down when the saints pray oh God because you said that you hear the prayers of the righteous we our prayers do not go unheard our prayers do not go unnoticed God you will listen oh God open up the, the open up the, the heavens oh God and bring us down a blessing bring us blessings oh God spiritual blessings oh God spiritual blessings oh god that's going to help us in these last and evil days it's not about materialistic stuff it's about the spiritual god give us spiritual blessings those that don't have a walk with you oh god may they have a walk that's close that may they get uh, a closer walk with you in this season oh god those of pe- those the backsliders the backsliders that have turned away god may they draw closer to you may they come back god because you said that you are married to the backsliders oh god oh god anybody that is lost god may they have a knowledge and with an understanding of your word so that they may come to you oh god wholeheartedly giving you their burdens oh god oh lord god cover each and every listener that may come across this video on any social outlet i want to thank you god because they did not come to this video by mistake god i pray that they will hear something that will help change their walk that will help draw them closer to you father because we pray that your will father be done on the earth as it is in heaven god not our will not satan's will but your will be done oh god and we praying for each and each individual that is that has been affected with the coronavirus or have family members or friends that have been affected by it. god i pray for healing upon the earth oh god oh god they're trying to come up with a vaccine but little they know you are the vaccine oh god God, you are the vaccine, Lord Jesus. God, inject each and every person, oh God, with your power, Lord God, so they so their body may be healed, so that they may be delivered from any stronghold, from any uh, from may be set free from any principalities or any wickedness in high places that's trying to hold them bound. God, you know what your people are going through in this hour. You know what they have been going through that has been causing them um stress or depression you know lord god but god you said that those that keep their eyes stay um stayed on you that um you would keep them to keep their mind stayed on you you would keep them in perfect peace and god i pray that we would keep our mind stayed on you regardless of what situation is going on regardless of what satan is trying to use to hinder us in any kind of way we're going to keep our mind stayed on you because we know that you has sent jesus to set the captives free hallelujah and we are free in you oh god we are free to come forward we are free to live for you we are free to praise you we are free to worship you we are free to trust you we are free to have faith in you we are free we are free in the name of jesus and lord god i ask you oh god I ask you, oh God, to have your way over this prayer line, oh God. May this prayer line reach people in other states. May this prayer line reach the lost from any city, from every city around the globe. May it reach Africa. May it reach further than we ever could think of. Because God, we know that you is a God that's able to do all things. And God, when you have, when you bring forth, when you bring anything forth, oh God, you bring, you, you, you bring it forth with with uh, uh with power you bring it forth uh, you, amen you bring it forth and, and, and lies anything that's connected to anything that you're doing oh god lies will be changed oh god 
people will be delivered people will be set free the truth will be out there oh god and lord god have your way god have your way in the earth lord god have your way father god have your way father god i bind up everything that is not like you oh god i bind up every hindrance i bind up every destruction i bind up every confusion I bind it up in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, I say, you keep us in these last and evil days, oh God. When we do die from this earth, it's because we had completed your will, Lord God, that you said it is finished in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God, keep our children in these last and evil days because Satan is trying to do everything he can to keep their mind in bondage. But God, we know that you is you have come to set the captives free. And Lord Jesus, we depend upon you for everything, Lord God. And Lord God, have your way upon the earth, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. If anybody want to add on to what has been put forth in the atmosphere, do so at this time. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Oh God. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, thank you for the Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, God. Lift the burdens up off of us, Lord. Lift it up, Lord God. Lift it up, God. Lift it up, God. Lift it up, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All this. The callers that haven't called in a long time, we praying for them. I know that they're going through some stuff right now, God, because any time when God is calling you to do something, Satan will always send distractions your way. But, God, we're praying for all the existing callers that haven't called in a while, God. we God, we ask you, oh, God, that they draw back to your word, Lord God. We ask you, oh, God, that you will cover them, oh, God, and you will keep them, Lord God. God, keep them on the path of righteousness, oh, God, so they may do your will, God, so they may fulfill your God-given purpose that you have put into them before they was even formed in their mother's womb god have your way have your way over every believer lord god have your way in the mighty name of jesus we come together in agreement because you said when two or three join together there you will be in the midst and you also said that we agree on anything we shall have it and god we agree that this coronavirus is gonna be gone we we agree god that you're gonna lift that virus you're gonna lift that demon upon the earth you're gonna lift it and destroy it in the mighty name of jesus on in your time god because this is all about your time and lord god and your time and lord god you're gonna make everything new oh god you're gonna make everything new in your time and god and i thank you god for what you're doing lord jesus i thank you for everything you already do and i thank you for what you're doing now and i thank you for what's up ahead because eyes haven't seen ears haven't heard all that you have for your believers and i receive it now in the mighty name of jesus amen 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 praise god Vicky, I was just talking there, the young lady that was talking about the, the bad weather that they're about to have between now and tomorrow, Amen. in the name of Jesus, if mm. that storm is not from you, Amen. stop it at the Amen. base. When you Amen. had the disciples in the boat, yes. you said to see. Yes, I, so I say the same to that storm. Let it do yes. no destruction. Yes, Lord God. Let it cause no destruction yes, in God. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord God. Yes, yes. 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 Well, amen. Has anybody got any closing remarks or anything of that sort? Because we want to make sure we give everybody a chance to lift their voice and 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 to um, magnify the Lord. If you you know have anything to say, please say it at this time. Amen. Amen. If not. If not, I want to say that I love each and every one of you. I thank God for for you calling and touching the green and, and, and being a part of what God is doing, what God is doing in the earth. Amen. And um, not what I'm doing, 
<laughs> but what God is doing, because anytime you call and you you call this line, it's because you be you are doing you are part of what God is doing, and God honors that. Right. Amen. He nothing that you do will go unnoticed. God honors and He sees all and He knows all. Amen. And I just want to say that I hope I pray that each and everybody have a good and a marvelous weekend. Um, I pray that each and everybody, you know, take some devotional time out, take some alone time and, and actually seek the father and actually get into his word like never before, because it's going to take the word of God to, to sustain us in these last and evil days. And with that being said, I want to say good night and I love each and every I one of you. Hello. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Hello. sweetie. I'm sorry, sweetie. Okay, thank God. Thank God that I got, I got, I, I called one time. Uh-huh. And I thank God for the word. My phone about to go out, so I'm going to talk uh-huh. fast. I thank God for the word, and I'm a new listener because she, uh, um, your baby, uh, LaShonda, uh-huh. she asked me to call. Amen. And I called in, and I enjoyed the word. I thank God for oh, the wow. word. Wow. Praise God. Yes. Praise and God. I really, I really, really, really did enjoy. And I ask you to all to keep me in your prayers, and I pray for you and you pray for me. Amen. 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 What's your name? You know What's your name, sweetie? Um, my name is Terry Smith. Okay. 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 Uh-huh. And so- I thank God. Amen. But we know that he's gonna take this corona and send a stick back mm-hmm. to say that we came. And we know that we're gonna be all right. And the one that's gonna that have that uh, corona, God is healing right now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name and of God, Jesus. Yes. And I thank God for your word. And I really mm-hmm. did enjoy. I used to be in the bed this time of night, mm-hmm. but Shana they last week. And, I, and she gave me the call, uh-huh. and I called the first time. They said, call back, and I called back it was later. So, but I still heard the word, and I thank God for it. Uh-huh. Well, so I want you to I know. Really I want you to know that we definitely, we definitely happy mm-hmm. to have you. We meet here every Friday night, starting at eleven fifty-five. Um, so uh-huh. it's eleven. We meet here every Friday night at eleven fifty-five p.m. And, um, okay. you know, and we just want you to know that we, we want to have you. We, we, you know, you could consider yourself a part of this or what God is, is doing because, yeah. you know, because God, he's, he's doing new things upon the earth. You know, we got to get on board. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. got to get on board, you know, and, um, God yeah. is, is, is no, is no better time than to pray than now, than these last and evil days. But sister, yes, I'm telling ma'am. you, I thank God for you. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Amen. I'm glad. I did. I did. Amen. Amen. Um. So I. So yeah. So make sure you join us. Um. Join us again on Friday mm-hmm. next Friday at eleven fifty five. And those of you mm-hmm. that's up here that that may have not said anything, mm-hmm. or those of you that may be listening on YouTube, please join us eleven fifty five. We just regular believers coming together uh, mm-hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ, believing God for yes. a turnaround. Cause we all believe God, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> he yes. can do what no yes. man can do. So praise God, anybody got, you know, we want everybody to have a voice. Everybody have a voice, and we give people room to lift up their voice and magnify God. So I just thank God for each and everybody that was online tonight. I thank God for our new newcomer. Praise God. Thank God for her. Praise God. Um, we love you. And sister, I'll, you'll be getting a gift card tonight. I will give it to Shonda to give to you, okay? Okay. All right. So I give her to give it to you because with the newcomers, we want to be able to bless each and every newcomer um, the way that God see fit. And, um, you know, so we just want to welcome you in, sister, to um, our prayer warfare group. And um, you are welcome. (laughs) You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Anything? Thank you so much. You're welcome, sweetie. And please tell all, tell tell anybody, you know, because I know we got family and friends that that need to hear a word from God. And some people, believe it or not, uh-huh. toss and turn this time of night. Some people ain't even, most of a lot of people not really sleeping at this time of night. We are designed to sleep, 
but Satan is, is keeping some people up and they need to hear a word from mm-hmm. God. So if you know anybody, yeah. you know, friends and family, let them know about what God is doing so we can have more believers to come in. Amen. So we can I encourage will. each other yeah. and keep going. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So with that yeah. being I, said, I just, I just, I'm sorry. I just wanted to say thank you for letting God, for letting Holy Spirit use you to speak to that virus on our behalf. Thank you. Amen. Thank yes. You know. Yes. Uh, thank you. Yes. Lord have mercy. Yes. We thank God yes. for that. We thank God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But you know what? I thank God. You know what? I'm asleep peacefully tonight. I don't know about y'all. What y'all think? <laughs> I declare that in the atmosphere. Because we covered. We covered by the blood. You hear me? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, you know what, y'all? It's almost close to 1 30. And um, I enjoy each and every one of y'all. And um, I plead a blood over each and every one of the participants on here tonight. I thank God for the newcomer. I pray that more and more new people will come and see and taste and see that the Lord is good. You hear me? And um, amen. And um, I praise God for each and every one of you. And um, with that being said, I pray each and every one of you have a peaceful and a great night and sleep and i pray mm-hmm. that god will have his way on each and everybody lives throughout the whole entire week and with that being said i mm-hmm. love you i love you and i thank god for each and every one of you in jesus mighty name y'all have a Amen. anybody else want to say anything before we hang up <laughs> all right well look i love y'all and y'all have a good night okay and you do the same. Thank you, sweetie. Amen. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.